When they began, the Panthers made an immediate connection with fans by adopting a logo that loosely represented the outline of North and South Carolina. You've got this as a regional team that is there for all of the Carolinas. Pretty basic overall look, but a helmet that was meant to be cutting edge. And uh, we'd never seen anything like that before. As an expansion team in 1995, the Panthers enjoyed success almost from the start. Here's a team that went to the NFC Championship game in its second season, went to a uh, Super Bowl later on. But it was the color white, not black or blue, that Panthers fans remember most. In the team's 10 playoff appearances, they wore white jerseys in the first nine games, including Super Bowl 38. Today, the team plays home games in white during the hottest part of the season, then switches to black for the rest of the year. In 2012, the team introduced a more contemporary and aggressive logo that evokes the Panther statues at their stadium. There's a team that's been trying to update its look and be more exciting, and we find out once again more exciting when Cam Newton is quarterbacking. And so the uniform and the entire look looks more exciting. Even in their short existence, the Panthers are a team of tradition. When beloved player, then assistant coach Sam Mills passed away, the team rallied around his catchphrase, keep pounding. And recently, they added that motto to the inside of their uniform collar. Blue and black, they're not just colors, they're a state of mind.